Hey Capricorn, welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. Hope you are doing fantastic. In today's reading, I'm taking a look at your romantic love life for the rest of May 2023. Whether you have someone brand spanking new entering your life around this time, or you already have somebody on your mind and you're wanting to know, how does this person truly feel about me? What's their true intentions? What's their next actions? Or what is holding us back? Where is this relationship headed? Can I get some advice? I'll answer all those questions and then some in today's reading, okay? Also, Capricorn, starting in June, I'm going to be incorporating more general messages into just the monthly. So career, financial, spiritual guidance, and love rolled into one video. And then the weeklies will be love. Just so that people who aren't looking for love have something to look forward to. All right, so let's begin. Spirit, what do we have for a Capricorn today in their romantic love life? Can I get a seven card spread? Who's heading towards them this week? And what's their true intentions with Capricorn and their true feelings? Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this deck for my awesome Cappies. All right, so this person's feelings for you this week. We have the nine of wands. Could be a fire sign that you're connecting to. Their intentions with you. The queen of wands, so they're intending to pursue you. And Sagittarius had this in the exact same position. So some of you guys could be connecting to a Sagittarius as I have their energy strongly in this reading already. Their actions towards you. The Ace of Swords, they want to talk to you. They want to talk to you about something very important. Your feelings towards this person. The Magician, you like them too. Okay, you could have Gemini or Virgo in your chart. What's the blockage? What's in the blind spot between you and this person, Capricorn? The strength card, major for Leo. Somebody lacking vulnerability, somebody lacking confidence that something may work out as they are hoping. Um, or someone just really holding back what they really need to say in order for you to create what you're wanting to create with them. Because you're wanting to build something with them with your feelings being the magician. This is all about you feeling like you have everything that you need to manifest the relationship that you want with this person. But you need them to be on board too. They need to put in the same amount of um, energy towards this. What's your potential outcome together this week? Temperance, major for Sagittarius. Beautiful outcome. And yeah, I think I might have some cappies that are on the cusp of Sagittarius season. Okay. But if not, you just have very strong, fiery influence in this reading. Very strong, fiery influence. What's your advice with this person going forward? Justice, major for Libra. Wow, so you got one, two, three, four major arcanas out of a seven card uh, spread. That's significant. Strong energy wanting to come through. What's the overall energy for the two of you? The King of Swords, which is the energy of let's talk. Let's talk it out. Let's, let's talk about our plans. Let's see if we're on the same page here. I'm ready. You know, the King of Swords with the Ace of Swords is somebody that's like, we need to really compare notes here and see where our future is headed together, all right? Especially if there hasn't been much communication between the two of you or the communication you guys do have isn't really the type of communication that allows a relationship to evolve or to go forward, okay? Or to deal with any underlining issues. So if someone's ready to talk to you. It feels good though, it feels really good. Whoever this person is, they're in pursuit of you with that Queen of Wands energy, and they're wanting to work together with you with that temperance as the outcome. You know, I feel like you and another person may have had to go through some trial and error together to figure out what is the perfect blend for the two of you. Think of this as the spiritual bartender. You're going up to him at the bar, and you're like, all right, I want a Long Island iced tea. Spiritual bartender orders up, but you think it's too sweet. Right? So you bring it back and you say, all right, I want a rum and coke. You get it? It's a little too strong, AKA karmic relationships. And you're like, spiritual bartender, I don't like any of those. And he's like, you know what? I know exactly what's right for you. And that's the two of cups, preparing that life partner for you, going through trial and error to figure out what is the perfect blend for a partnership for yourself. You know, just like Goldilocks, too hot, too cold, just right. And that's what the justice card is for your advice. Find the person that's just right for you. Don't settle. If you don't feel like you can, you know, take another sip out of the, you know, relationship from this person, can it? If you feel like you're enjoying what the bartender has served you, you know, embrace it. Be open to it. Be honest with it, right? These cards both signify balance. 
I like this reading and I just got goosebumps just when I said that, which is telling me that a lot of you are liking it so far too. Now, I do feel like somebody here may have had to turn their back on something that wasn't serving them any longer. It may have been you Capricorn because I'm looking at this Eight of Cups and it shows me someone packing up all the solo cups from a, a wild party and putting it in the trash and thinking, all right, well, that was fun, but it's definitely not something I can sustain over a long period of time. You know, parties are fun, but if you were to have a party every single night, you would grow so irritated by the thought of a party. So some of you Capricorns were connecting with someone that was a wild party, you know, emotions ran high, you know, you were really excited about them, they were rushed, the intimacy may have been off the charts, but you couldn't keep up with the emotional roller coaster of what that connection entailed and you walked away from it to create a new atmosphere for yourself with the magician. Some of you guys may have been traveling with the two of wands showing me open brochures, all right? Or you were at a crossroads within your love life and you had to make some important decisions. So I'm gonna start clarifying and see what's going on here, but whoever this person is, they want you. I just need to find out why that nine of wands is here. Because the nine of wands is telling me that this person feels like um, life has not been easy for them in the love department and they're not giving up. You know, the Nine of Wands is the energy of feeling wounded in love. Feeling like every time you get together with someone, they break your heart, but still yearning for that love. So this person feels like they can have something with you, even if their prior relationships, you know, weren't really what they wanted, what they ordered, you know. But you're manifesting the right spiritual cocktail. That's your Two of Cups right here that Archangel Michael is preparing for you, you know. You're, this is you requesting it with the magician. So you're getting what you wanted. Who else got something similar? And then there's the temperance and the page of swords. Someone else got something similar. Um, who was it? It was, uh, was it Virgo? It was either Virgo, Scorpio, or Libra. It was Libra, I think it was Libra. Okay, Libra got this. Now, clarifying this person's feelings for you, I got the Ace of Swords, which is in this person's actions towards you. This is someone that's preparing to talk to you about something very important. They're getting prepared to let some sort of wall come down, a wall that they didn't build up on their own. People in their life that have come and gone helped them build that wall. They handed them the brick and mortar. So it, it's not going to be an overnight thing to knock someone's walls down, but this person's willing to be honest and truthful with you. Ace of Swords. This person's very resilient, especially if they're a fire sign, and then that temperance is back. Okay, temperance is telling me that somebody here has gone through a lot of trial and error in their love life, and they're so friggin' sick of getting the wrong order that they're almost to the point where they're like, is love even out there for me, or am I just gonna keep on getting stomped on? I feel like it's the both of you though. I'm feeling like it's the both of you feeling like you keep giving your heart and soul to the wrong people, but it's not the wrong people. You're supposed to go through those experiences so you learn what you like and what you don't like, so then when you are ready for marriage, ready for a long-term commitment, you know exactly what you want to tell that spiritual bartender to, to prepare for you, so you're not stuck with something you don't want for the rest of your life after you make a final commitment in marriage justice. You know, that's why <laughs> that's why it's recommended that you don't marry young. You know, there's always an exception, you know, but it's really rare for an 18-year-old girl to know what type of person she wants to build a life with simultaneously with a man at 18 years old. You know, you're learning yourself. I don't like the same things that I liked when I was 18 that I do now. In fact, some of the things I hated, I love now. Could you imagine getting married at 18? Anyways, your feelings for this person is the magician. Why the magician for how Capricorn feels about this person? Someone here may have gotten married at 18 and is already divorced, looking for new love. That's, that came through for a reason. Why the magician? The fool, Aries energy. I have a Capricorn that's like Badison. I'm ready for my new start. Bring me what I want, please. Or tell the universe, you know, 
look up your connections and hook me up. I want someone that I can build a new life with, with that full energy. You're coming in very carefree. You're coming in with a very lighter energy, which tells me that you have healed a lot over the last year or so. I've got a Capricorn that has been healing and I love that. So your person's intentions with you is the Queen of Wands. Why the Queen of Wands as this person's intentions with Capricorn? Somebody definitely feels like you are very physically attractive. Someone that when you walk in a room, regardless of what you think you look like on the outside, you radiate, you know, some sort of confidence or just people like to look at you. Why the Queen of Wands? Page of Wands. Look at that kitten playing with that little flickering light. He's curious about it. He's, he's drawn to it. But if you look closely, his tail's catching on fire. So this person may be worrying that, you know, they're playing with fire and they're gonna get burned because they've already been through some BS and love. So they're looking at you, looking all attractive, looking all freaking good, and they're thinking, oh man, I'm really playing with friggin' fire with Capricorn, aren't I? They're, they're, I don't know, they're gonna get me in some trouble. Fun trouble, yes, but you know. This person's intimidated by you. There's something about you that they're intimidated by, but they're going for it anyway with that page of cups. And it may create a tower for the both of you with that tower card showing up, major for Scorpio. And I saw that card when I saw 11-11 on my clock. So something about this person's pursuit is going to shock the heck out of you, big time Capricorn, or vice versa if, if it's for the cross watcher. There's something um, that someone's not expecting that's gonna take place, but it doesn't feel awful. It feels like a good shock. You know, towers don't always have to be awful. Towers come in when something is not on a str strong foundation in the first place and it needs to re be removed, right? Like building a house on quicksand. You, that's not sustainable. You know, it's, it's gonna be a breaking down of a structure over time. You might as well just let it loose right away. You know, ooh, and the devil. Somebody here feels like pursuing this is going to create a tower for them, but they're okay with it. It's like, all right, I'll do it. So in the challenge, we have the strength card. Now, when I look at the strength card, that's ruled by Leo, and Leo rules the heart. Now, with it being in the blockage, I feel like someone's having trouble letting their heart come out. Someone's having trouble feeling their feelings, you know, but what comes with the strength card is great loyalty. Someone's loyal to this, even if they're not loyal to themselves right now. Let that one sink in. Why the strength card? King of Wands, strong Leo. If you're not dealing with a Leo, oh my Lanta, the Two of Cups. Um, if you're not dealing with a Leo, because I've got I've got all fire energy here, so pretty much fire sign. If you're not dealing with a fire sign, it's telling me that somebody's needing to embrace that fiery energy to get something to work out in their favor. Someone's needing it because too much of Earth is just slow as so slow moving energy, and too much water, you know, gets emotional. But you need that fire. You need that fire to get something jump started, to get that, to get something revved up. Okay, someone may have been acting very shy or acting very, you know, mysterious with their affection for somebody. But someone, yeah, someone's needing the confidence to speak about what they really want so that they don't lose what they really want. It's that soft-spoken person at the bar that is afraid to use their voice and say what they want, so they tell their friend, can you order this for me, please? And the friend's like, why don't you just order it? Oh, you do it better than me. You know, someone afraid of their voice, whether it's because of deep-rooted insecurities, not feeling their worth, you know, always being told children should be seen and not heard, so they don't talk anymore, and they just have other people talk for them. I'm pulling on somebody that has trouble talking for themselves, all right? And it's because of the betrayals and the hardships that they've dealt with, or this could be vice versa for, for Cappy. Um, but somebody here wants something stable. So, in this person's actions is the Ace of Swords. Why the Ace of Swords? Why the Ace of Swords? Why the Ace of Swords? Someone may have hurt their wrist or they have carpal tunnel. Why the Ace of Swords? The tower, I told you. I told you whatever this communication is, whatever this openness is, is going to create a tower, but not a bad tower. It's gonna to be a, all right, I'm ready for this. Let's get this going, let's rock, type of tower. Something that is 
far past its time of being needed to be taken care of. Whether this is someone finally speaking their truth and saying everything that they've been wanting to say that's been internally like a ticking time bomb. Um, whatever it is, it's going to lead to a breakthrough. And for some, I'm strongly getting that I'm pulling on someone that is a divorcee. That is still in a, in a stage of their life where they're trying to figure out what they want because they gave so much time to someone that they thought they wanted. Okay? So, the potential outcome we have is the temperance card. Why the temperance card? Why the temperance card, please, for the potential outcome for Capricorn in their love life with whomever this person is? Why temperance? Knight of Pentacles. Someone taking a long journey to you but slow and steady does lead to a more stable relationship. Someone took their time to find you, whether energetically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically, someone took a long time to find you, or you took a long time to find somebody else, but it was worth the wait, wasn't it? When you take that first sip of that spiritual cocktail and it just, it's perfect. You know, not sour, not sweet, everything that you ever wanted where you can have a peaceful relationship with somebody and not grow to hate them, you know? Because when you are with someone that is not resonating with you on a soul level, you can grow resentment for that person. All right, so your advice is the justice card. Always do what's right for yourself and do by others right too. If, if you don't feel like you're feeling it with somebody, let them know, don't, don't toy with their heart. And same with you. If you don't like someone anymore, walk away so you can find someone that you will like. Why the justice card? Hierophant, they're showing me a marriage for you. They're showing me a marriage for you, Capricorn. Whether it's with this specific person that I'm pulling on right now, or they're wanting you to know, be patient because we got someone for you that you're not gonna grow to freaking hate. <laughs> it's not gonna be freaking Marie and whatever his name was on Everybody Loves Raymond. They hated each other. Um, but Taurus energy, Libra. Looks good, looks good. Lovers on the bottom. Look how cuddly that looks. It's feeling at home with somebody. Not feeling uncomfortable, not feeling awkward, not feeling like you don't fit or belong with somebody. It's nice. So you got that energy heading towards you around this time, Capricorn. Whether you met them already or you're about to. If you haven't met them already, they want you to know, be patient, don't settle, because they got what you want coming. You're ordering something with that magician. It's on its way. But for those of you who are already resonating with this type of individual, they care about you a lot. They adore you. There's something that they want to say. Whatever they want to say is going to possibly surprise you or, or shock you in some way, but the good shock. Like, oh man, I've been waiting for this type of shock. Now, if you're in any recent no contact with somebody, let's find out how they feel. Oh, for zodiac signs, you could be connecting with strong fiery energy. I got Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, all over this freaking board. But I also have um, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Gemini. Uh, but it really could be any zodiac sign. Would you please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl, by the way. And if you like to book a private reading with me, Capricorn, the link to my website is in the description box below with this video. Keep in mind, every Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live for the all signs their feelings for you spread. Hope to see you there. I cheated you out of real love. I ghosted you because of my own insecurities. This is for my recent no contact people. I couldn't handle my true feelings for you, so I kept you as a friend and nothing more. Ooh, someone got friend zone, but not for the right reasons. Being apart has been more difficult than I can accept. Some of you guys could be long distance or someone has just been acting distant, but they're still feeling connected. I still feel connected to you, but I waited too long to reach out. Is it too late for us? Okay, so that was for you. I'm looking forward to doing your June monthly. It's going to have career, finances, spirituality, and love all rolled up into one bow. And then the weeklies will be love. All right, so until next time, Capricorn, later, Gators.